first question the aristocrat mukhar mukharab khan was a great favorite of which mogal emperor answer is jahangir mukharab khan a surgeon and physician who was known for his skill in treating elephants as much as for treating men he has been appointed governor of three provinces during jahangir region second question which arab scientist could be given the credit of cherishing the mathematical discipline of algorithm answer is al khwarizmi mohammad ibn musa al khwarizmi was a persian mathematician astronomer astrologer geographer and a scholar in the house of wisdom in baghdad in the 12th century translation of uh, algorithm de numero indorum which cod- codified the various introduction uh, various introduced to the introduced to the western world he is also known as the father of algebra a word derived from the title of his book kitab al jarb third question who among the following was the was not a painter at akbar's court answer is kalyan das explanation basavan was one of the major painter at mughal king akbar's court he mainly worked during the period of uh, 1580 to 1600 along with him abu da Ab- abdus samad and dashwant were also the painters of akbar's court fourth question the important source of akbar's reign tarikh e akbari was written by which one of the following persian language scholar answer arif khamda hari tarikh e akbari was known as tarikh e khamdari or muzarraf nama the first chronicle of emperor akbar's reign is an immensely important source of information on 16th century history of india particularly the formative years of his career tarikh e akbari was written by arif khandhari fifth question what is the name of the literary gen- genre developed by the khojas who are the who are the branch of the islam is ismaili sect answer is gi- ginan ginan are devotional hymns or poem recited by shia ismaili muslims although ginan scan is be recited studied and listened by to by non nizari is ismailis ginans hold a special role in the cultural practice and ritual of nizari ismailis Speci- uh, specifically the community of khojas a caste of south asian of whom the majority now identified as nizari ismaili the sixth question who among the following mongol leader commander did not cross indus to attack india answer is chengiz khan in early 13th century chengiz khan the leader of mongols started invading central asia he defeated jalaluddin manga barin the ruler of khwarizm khwarizam manga barin crossed the river indus and sought asylum from iltumish iltumish refused to give him shelter in order to save his empire from the onslaught of mongols fortunately for iltumish chengiz khan returned home without entering into india in fact the mongol policy of iltumish saved uh, india from the war of chengiz khan question number 7 the mogal the famous mogal painting depicting jahangir embracing the safavid of k uh, safavid king shah abbas was painted by which one of the following mogal painter answer abdul hasan abdul hasan painted the famous mogal painting depicting jahangir embracing the safavid king shah abbas Mughal emperor Jahangir and the Shah Abbas I of Persia is friendly embrace significance peace admits the two rulers they are standing on top of what appears to be the globe and at their feet rest a lion and lamb there is a bright sun halo behind them carried by angels the painting is a typically typical example of the influence of european art in mughal painting eighth question which one among the following books were authored by the lady of the mogal 
royal house answer is humayun nama gulbadan begum uh, uh, was the daughter of emperor bahad babur the founder of mogal empire she is best known as the author of humayun nama the ac- account of the life of her half brother emperor humayun she wrote on the request of her nephew emperor akbar question number 9 marco polo trips marco polo trip to india uh, 1271 ad on much fame in europe on account of answer is or uh, is having discovered a safe route to india venetian merchant and adventurer marco polo traveled from europe to asia from 1271 to 1295 he wrote il milioni known as uh, known in english as the travel of marco polo there is no evidence outside his famous book that he traveled so far uh, histories of asia never before explored by europeans including burma india and tibet question number 10 which one of the following book was not illustrated with a painting in akbar's court answer is tariq ai alfi the tariq ai alfi or history of 1000 years was written for the mogal emperor akbar between 1282 to 88 and likely illustrated just after after uh, 1588 the illustration surrounds the panel of text name the platform used for ritual purpose by the kings of the vijayanagara empire answer mahanavami dibba mahanavami dibba standing tall in the place of hampi is believed to be built by the king krishnadevaraya to commemorate his victory over udayagiri it was here where the king of vijayanagara used to celebrate the festival of dasara his successor to the throne have made different changes with them this monument was used for a religious purpose war games army march fast musical performance etc question number 12 consider the following pairs with reference to the terms relevant during maratha age which of the pairs given above are correctly match answer is majumdar accountant dibar master of ceremonies 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 shivaji designated eight minister sometimes called the ashtapradana it was not in the nature of council of minister each minister being directly responsible for the ruler the most important ministers were the peshwa who took who looked after the finances and general administration and chari ai naubat that is senapati which was the post of honor and was generally given to uh, one of the leading maratha chief the majumdar was the accountant while the wakwi navis was responsible for the intelligence post and household affairs further the suru navis or chita chitnis helped the king with his correspondence the dabir was the master of ceremonies and also helped the helped the king in his dealing with foreign powers the nyayadisha and panditro uh, were were in charge of justice and charitable grants shivaji preferred to give salaries in cash to the regular soldiers however some time the chief received revenue grants question number 13 which among the which one among the following thinkers argued that maratha rule in general and shivaji in particular represented early nationalist consciousness in india answer is gopal krishna gokale gopal krishna gokale was the senior leader of the indian national congress and the founder of the servants of indian society according to him maratha rule in general and shivaji in particular represented the early national spirit and consciousness in india question number 14 consider the following statement first one shivaji belonged to bonsle clan second statement shivaji adopted the title of chhatrapati and kshatriya kula vatsam vat vatasam but third point 
Guru Ram Das was the political guru of Shivaji. Mark the correct answers below. All the three options are correct. Shivaji was born at Shivneri Fort to Shahaji Bonsle and Jija Bai. He was the member of Bonsle clan. Samarth Ram Das was the guru of Shivaji. He is remarked for his Advaita Vedic text Dashbon. Shivaji assumed the title Chhatrapati after his cor- coronation in 1674 and the title of Kshatriya Kula Vatamsa. He also adopted the title of Hendava Dharmodharaka. Question number 15. Consider the following statement. Karuns were the revenue officials in Maratha. Karkuns. Sh- Shivaji's biography by uh, Shabha Sad is known as Bakhar. Shivaji divided his territory under his rule into three provinces. The provinces were divided into uh, Prans, which were subdivided into Pranganas or Tharifs, the lowest unit of village which, uh, which was headed by the headman or Patel. All the options are correct. 16th question which fort ceded by shivaji to mughals by the term of the treaty of purandara in 1665 could not be won back by shivaji answer is shivneri according to treaty of purandara between jai singh and shivaji shivaji had to surrender 23 forts out of 35 forts held by him to the mughals Shivneri fort ceded by Shivaji to the Mughals by the terms of the Treaty of Purandara could not be won back by Shivaji. Question number 17. Consider the following differences between the Chauth and Sardeshmuk. By the 1730s, the Maratha kings were, was recognized as the overlord of the entire Deccan Peninsula. He possessed the right to levy Chauth and Sardeshmukhi. Chauth and Shardeshmukhi were the tax collected not in the Maratha kingdom but in the neighboring territories of the Mughal Empire or the Delhi Sultanate. Chauth was one fourth of the land revenue paid to the Marathas in order to avoid the Maratha raid. Shardeshmuk was an additional levy of 10% on those land which the Marathas claimed hereditary rights. It was demanded by the Demanded by Shivaji on account of being a Sardeshmukh, that is headman. Question number 18. Who among the following Maratha women led struggle against the Mughal Empire from 1700 AD onwards? Answer is Tarabai. Tarabai Bonsale was the regent of the Maratha Empire of India from 1700 till 1708. She was the queen of Chhatrapati Raja Ram Bonsale, daughter in law of Empire, uh, Empire, Empire's founder. Shivaji and mother of Shivaji too. After Shivaji's death in 1680, his, his first son Shambhaji took over the throne as he was captured and later killed. Raja Ram was brought into power. He died, he di- he died an ultimate, ultimately untimely death in 1700 leaving behind and I asked Shivaji too, who was only four years at that time. In his name, Tarabai became the de facto ruler. Consider the following. Uh, consider the, the revenue administration of the Vijayanagara kingdom. As suggested in the Amukta Malyada, the expenditure of the state was divided into four parts. Charities and personal expenditure of the king, maintenance of horses, military, conquest and security of the empire. Land revenue from crown's land was the most important source of income. Explanation. The kingdom was divided into provinces known as Mandalam, headed by Mandaleshwara. It was further divided into Nadu, Sthala, Gramas. Land revenue was fixed at one sixth of the produce land revenue varied according to nature of cultivated land there was 
there were taxes on various professions land revenue from the crown's land was the most important source as suggested in the muktamalya muktamalyadu the expenditure of the state was divided into four parts charities and personal expenditure of the king maintenance of forces military conquest and security of the empire question number 20 which bahman sultan was granted the title of chief of merchants or malikut tujar answer is muhammad gavan one of the most important personality in the bahmani kingdom was muhammad gavan the bahmani bahmani kingdom reached its peak during under the guidance of the muhammad gavan muhammad gavan's early life is obscure he was an iranian by birth and first reached deccan as a trader he was granted the title of chief of the merchants or malikut tujar by the bahmani ruler humayun shah he was made wazir or the prime minister and was given the title of khwaju ai jahan question number 21 with respect to the condition of women in the vijayanagara kingdom consider the following statement women occupied a high position and took an active part in the political social and literary literary life of the empire devdasi system was flourished under vijayanagara kingdom polygamy was prevalent among the royal families all the three options are correct women occupied a high position and took an active part in the political social literary life of the empire they were educated and trained in wrestling uh, in various of in in the use of various weapons of offense and defense in music and fine arts women were employed in royal palaces some women scholars like hana hanamma tirumalamma ganga devi who wrote madura vijayam however devadasi system was flourishing under vijayanagara kingdom dancing girls were attached to the temples polygamy was prevalent among royal families and sati practices was also re- recorded by traveler accounts question number 22 Uh, consider the following statement he helped the portuguese to conquer goa from the bijapur rulers in 1510 and maintain friendly relation with them second point portuguese travelers uh, domingo pias and durate barbosa visited his court and have left accounts third point he was a devotee of lord venkateshwar of tirupati the above statement talks about which ruler answer is krishna devaraya krishna devaraya of the tuluva dynasty was the most famous king of the vijayanagara empire according to domingo pias a portuguese traveler krishna devaraya was the most pure and perfect king there could be possibly be he possessed great military ability his imposing personality was accompanied by his intelligent uh, intellectual quality krishna devaraya defeated the deccan sultanate in the battle of diwani he then invaded raichur dob that is between tungabhadra and krishna river known for its fertile soil comforting sultan of uh, bijapur ismail adil shah he also captured bidar he helped the portuguese to conquer goa from the bijapur rulers in 1510 and maintain friendly relation with them this relationship also helped him obtain high bred arabian horses and expansion of overseas trade of the empire portuguese traveler Dom- domingo pias and dorte barbosa visited his court and have left accounts krishna devaraya was a vaishnavite but respected all religions he was a devotee of lord venkateshwara of tirupati question number 23 which delhi sultanate called himself the helper of the caliph answer is ghiazuddin balban Balban called himself the helper of caliph uh, in his inscription on the walls of the mosque at Garmukteshwar the inscription is written in arabic language dating 682 Hij- hijri that is 1283 ad question number 24 mongols under chenghis khan invaded india, uh, india during the reign of iltumish Mongols under Genghis Khan invaded India during the reign of Iltumish but did not enter deep in India as Iltumish refused to give shelter to the Persian king Khwarizm Shah whom Genghis Khan was chasing question number 24 consider the following statement 
Iltumish became the rule, first ruler of uh, to issue Arabic coins in India. Second point, he was the first sultan to receive the investure of uh, sovereign sultan of Delhi from the Khalifa of Baghdad and both the, both the statements are correct. Iltumish became the first ruler uh, to issue Arabic coins in India. Prior to these, the invaders had issued coins engraved with Sanskrit characters. For example, Muhammad Ghori issued coins with seated uh, Lakshmi in imitation of the Ghadwals. He was also the first sultan to receive the investure of sovereign uh, sultan of delhi uh, for the uh, from the caliph of baghdad this investure le legitimized his rule he, be, he himself adopted the title of amir ul Mo momini or the commander of the faithful question 26 the Battle of Chausa was notably military engagement between the Mughal Emperor Mughal Humayun and Afghan Sher Shah Suri. It was fought on 26 June 1539 at Chausa, 10 miles southwest of Boxer in modern day Bihar, India. Humayun escaped from the battlefield to save his life after getting defeated by the Sher Shah. Question number 27. Akbar followed the system of Subha, the Prangana and the Sarkar as his major administrative units. Uh, the head of the military department was known as the Mir Bakshi. It was the Mir Bakshi uh, who was considered as the head of nobility. The recommendations for the appointment to Mansa Mansabs or for the promotions etc. were made to the emperor through the Mir Bakshi. The Mir Bakshi was also the head of the intelligence and information agencies of the empire. Intelligence officer and news reporters were posted in all regions of the empire and their reports were presented to the emperor's court through the Mir Bakshis. The uh, Amal Guzar was, uh, was assigned to exercise a general supervision over all types of land for the purpose of imperial rules and regulations and the assign assessment and collection of land revenue uniformly. Question number 28. Consider the following statement. Balban introduced the Persian festival of Navroz in India. The policy of harsh and ruthless torture to enemies and bloodshedding adopted by Balban has been prescribed as policy of blood and iron. He used the iron and blood policy to suppress the internal revolts and protect the Sultanate from external invasion and deals with problems generated by the Rajputs and Mewatis. Question number 28. Between 1309 and 1311, Malikafur uh, led to campaign in South India and the significance of the expedition lies in it that in 1305, Malik Afur defeated the Mongols at the Battle of uh, Amroha and led to campaign in South India between 1309 and 1311. The first uh, against the Warangal and the second against Dwar Samudra, Marbar and Madurai. Kafur was made Malik Naib, the senior commander of the army after its southern campaign. In 1294, Kafur led the Sultan's army against the capacity, uh, capital city of the Yadava kingdom, Devagiri. Kafur led further invasion southward into the Kakatiya dynasty, winning immense riches for the Sultanate and sacking many Hindu temples. The booty, uh, the booty from Warangal included the famous Kohinoor diamond uh, during the course of the attack he sacked and plundered many hindu temples including the famous hoysaleshwara temple in halebidu according to the muslim historian uh, zia ziabdin Zia barani kafur came back to in delhi with 241 tons of gold and 20000 horses and 612 elephants laden with the looted treasure question number 30 
विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट द अबाउट भक्ति ट्रेडिशन इन साउथ इंडिया द भक्ति मूवमेंट ओरिजिनेटेड इन द सेवेंथ सेंचुरी इन तमिल तमिल साउथ इंडिया नौ पार्ट्स ऑफ तमिलनाडु एंड केरला एंड स्प्रेड नॉर्थवर्ड्स इट स्वेप्ट ओवर ईस्ट एंड नॉर्थ इंडिया फॉर द फ्रॉम द फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी ऑनवर्ड्स रीच इट्स पीक बिटवीन द फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी एंड सेवेंटीन सेंचुरी सी द आलवार्स एंड द नाइनर्स लेट सम ऑफ द अर्लीस्ट भक्ति मूवमेंट इन सिक्स सेंचुरी आलवार्स वेर दो सेंट्स हू वेर इमर्स्ड इन डिवोशन ऑफ विष्णु नाइनर्स आर दो लीडर्स हू वेर डिवोटीज ऑफ शिवा हेंस ओके द The Nalaira Divya Prabandham is a collection of forty uh, sorry four thousand Tamil verses composed by the twelve Alvars and was compiled in its present form by Nath Muni during the ninth to tenth century. It is regarded as the Tamil Veda. Karai Kal Ammayar was one of the three women among us. The sixty-three Nayan Nayan Mars and was one of the greatest figures of early tamil literature she was against the patriarchal norms question number 31 consider the following statement about shersha administration shersha empire was divided into 47 sarkas administered by chief sikandar and chief munshi each sarkar was further divided into several pranganas they were administered by chief Shikodar, I mean, for Fortier and Karkuns. The, question number thirty-two. Consider the following statements about the reign of Razia Sultana. Razia appointed her Abbasian noble Malik Jamaluddin Yakut to the office of Amir I Akhur, that is Master of Horse, to create a party of loyal nobles to her. The Chah Chahalgani rebelled against Razia when she appointed her favorite Yakut as a superintendent of the stables. The rebel chiefs were supported by Malik Altunia, the governor of Ba Batinda. Soon, a battle ensued between the two rival groups, following which Yakut was killed and Razia was taken prisoner. Razia married Altunia, and they. Jointly tried to take the sultanate back, which was captured by Razia's brother Muizuddin Bahram Shah. However, Razia and her husband were defeated, and they were forced to flee. While fleeing to Kaithal, they were captured by the Jats and assassinated. Question number thirty-three. The term "upari" refers to which one of the following? Answer is a cat a category of tenants, uh, ten tenure under the Maratha rule. Upari refers to the category of tenants tenure helped uh, under the Maratha regime. The government used to assign land to various cultivators for cultivation and getting maximum revenue. The land allotted to original settlers of villages came. Came to be known as. Mirase land, whereas the land assigned to the migrant settlers were known as the Upari land. Question number thirty-four. Consider the following statement: Golgumbas is a Muslim of the King Muhammad Adil Shah, Adil Shah dynasty. Construct construction of tomb, the construction of the tomb located in Vijay Vijayapura, Vijayapura district of Karnataka, in India, was started in. Uh, 1626 and completed in 6 uh, 1656 the name is based on gola gumbata derived from the gol gumbas meaning circular dome it follows the style of indo islamic architecture ibrahim adil shah was the fifth ruler of the dynasty who wrote kitab e nav navraz in dakhani Question number thirty-five. Which of the following statements about Mughal Mansab system is correct? Mansab is an Arabic word which means 
a post an officer a rank or status therefore mansabdar means an officer or a holder of the rank status or the post all the gazette imperial officers of the state were styled as mansabdars the mansabdars were required, required to maintain a fixed number of troops and other equipment such as horses uh elephants camels mules crafts etc that indicate a number of the troops which a mansabdar was expected to maintain so, while sawar indicate the actual number of horses under the command of the mansabdar the mansabdar were un- uh, subdivided into following three grades uh, first one from 20 to 400 called mansabdars uh, second one from 500 to 2500 are called umra from 3000 to above are called umra i akbari question number 36 kitab ul hind was written by albaruni in arabic language it is divided into 80 chapters on subjects such as religions and philosophy festival astronomy alchemy manner and customs social life weight and measure measures inography laws and metrology the book kitab ul rihla was written by ibn batuta it is a form of travel literature based upon his experiences he traveled for nearly 30 years and covered most of the islamic world during 13 uh, uh, 1304 to 1369 ce and uh, after did uh, and after day dictated his account in this book gulbadan begum was the daughter of emperor she is best known as the author of humayun nama the conquest of the life of her half brother emperor she uh, which she wrote on request of her nephew emperor akbar next pad padsha nama or Badshah Nama is a genre of work uh, written as the official history of the Mughal emperor Shah Jahan's reign Abdul Hab- Hamid Lahori or uh, wrote this ba- Badshah Nama in two volume Question number 37 Ikta in Middle India meant land revenue from different territorial units assigned to an army officer Ikta in medieval India meant land revenue to army officials for limited period in lieu of a regular wage. These officers entitling the Ikta collected kharaj from the order and paid a part of it to the emperor and keep the rest as salary. Firoz Shah made the Ikta system hereditary which was earlier based on salary. Question number 38. Consider the following. Tughlaqabad fort built by Giyasuddin Tughlaq in 1321 Lodi garden built by Alauddin Alam Shah in 1444 Qutub Minar construction started by Qutubuddin Aybak and completed in by Iltumish in 1192 Ah uh, Fatehpur Sikri was founded uh, by Akbar in 1569 Question number 39 Around 12th around 12th century Sufi silsilas began to crystallize the uh, crystallize in different parts of the Islamic world to signify Sufi silsilas began to crystallize in different parts of the Islamic world around 12th century the word silsila literally means a chain signify a continuous link between the master and the disciple stretching as an unbro- unbroken spiritual genealogy to the prophet muhammad it was through the channel that spiritual power and blessings were transmitted to devotees special rituals of initiation were de- were developed in which initiates took an oath of allegiance ro- or a patch garments and shaved their head thus all type of statements are correct question number 40 what is ziyarat in the language of sufis answer is pilgrimage or to the tombs of sufi saints for seeking barakat 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग इंडियन पोलिटिज्म इन द अर्ली मेडिवल पीरियड इन द अर्ली मेडिवल इंडिया द पोलिटिकल एलाइट्स वेर बेनिफिशरी ऑफ असाइनमेंट्स वी मेड टू टीम ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ क्लैन कनेक्शन और इन लू ऑफ सर्विस मेड बाई द स्टेट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लैंडेड प्रॉपर्टी विच बिकेम देयर भोगा ग्रासा और वॉट एवर द रिलीजन एक्सप्रेशन वॉज अंडर अलाउद्दीन किलजी रूल भागा लैंड रेवेन्यू भोगा सीज एंड खर टैक्सेस बेकेम द बेसिस ऑफ बेसिस फॉर असाइनमेंट ऑफ लैंड टू नोबल्स सो द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट द हेडिट्री चीफ बिगैन टू अज्यूम मेनी ऑफ द फंक्शन ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट दे नॉट ओनली असेस and collected land revenue but also assumed more and more administrative power such as the right of punishing and extracting fines uh, so their own question number 42 consider the following statement about alauddin khilji's market policy the market reform of alauddin khilji was one of the most effective and far reaching economic regulations of the sultanate period it did not remain con confined to rural economy but extended to a urban market as well he issued a set of seven regulations which came to be known as the market control measures these measures were enacted to regulate the activities of the tra- of the traders and uh, who bought grain to delhi the sultan fixed the price for all commodities from grain to cloth slaves cattle etc a controller of market intelligence or uh, that is shan ai mandi intelligence officer that is barits and secret spies that is mun hian were appointed the grain merchants were placed under the shan ai mandi he, he bought a large tract of fertile land under the direct government crown territory by eliminating ikhtas land grants and vassals in the ganga yumna dob region question number 43 Uh, which of the following statements about the vijayanagara empire is true the very cho- the very choice of the site of vijayanagara was inspired by the existence of the shrine of virupaksha and pampa devi in fact the vijayanagara king claimed to rule on the beha- behalf of the god virupaksha all royal orders were signed shri virupaksha usually in the kannada script rulers also indicated their close links with the god by using the title hindu suratrana he this was a sanitization of the arabic term sultan a uh, meaning king so it literally meant hindu sultan even as they drew on earlier tradition the rulers of vijayanagara innovated the and developed this royal portrait sculptures was now displayed in temples and king's visit to temples were treated as important state occasion on which he was accompanied by the important nayakas of the empire question number 44 consider the following statements about sufism in early centuries of islam a group of religious minded people called sufis turned in turn to ascetism and mysticism in protest against the growing materialism of the caliphate as a religious and political institution they were critical to the dogmatic definition and scholastic methods of interpreting the quran and sunnah the tradition of the prophet adopted by theologians instead of, instead they laid emphasis on seeking salvation through intense devotion and love for god by following his commands and by following the examples of the prophet muhammad whom they regarded as the perfect human being the sufis thus sought an interpretation of the quran on the basis of their personal experience question number 45 which of the following statements are correct regarding shivaji chauth and shadeshmuk were two major tags of the marathas uh He abolished the Jagirdar system. Question number forty-six. Consider the following statement about the Battle of Shalher. The battle was fought between Mughals and Shivaji. A second one. 
following the battle the coronation of shivaji took place both the statements are true question number 47 consider the following statement the vijayanagara empire was established when alauddin khilji was the De- sultan of delhi sri rangam inscription belong to devaraya one both the statements are correct the vijayanagara empire was established by haryara and bukka in 13 36 AD when they set up the principality Muhammad bin Tughlaq was the uh, was the sultan in Delhi Sri Rangam copper plates in a uh, copper plates of Devaraya one states about the various achievements of the ruler he patronized Sri Natha that is uh, Telugu poet who wrote Hari Hari Vilasan in 1422 AD Devaraya one controlled the rain up to the krishna tungabhadra dam he built a dam on tungabhadra and haridra river for the purpose of irrigation question number 48 which among the following foreign travelers visited vijayanagara kingdom answer ibn batuta nicolo conti afanasi nikitin domingo piaz abdul razak Various travelers arrived in India during the period of Vijayanagara rule. Ibn Battuta, at 1333 to 1347 AD, was a Morocco Morocco can uh, traveler who visited India during the reign of Muhammad bin Tughlaq and came to Vijayanagara during the reign of Arihara I. Nicolo Conti, from 1422 to 21, was a Vitan Vinetian traveler who gave the uh, compa. comprehensive account of the hindu kingdom of vijayanagara he resided at the court of devaraya one du dorte barbuza from 15 uh, 1500 to 1516 ad portuguese traveler who was given the valuable narrative of the government and people of the vijayanagara empire next domingo piaz from 1522 to 1522 ad portuguese traveler who visited the court of krishna deva raya uh, farnaus nunis 1534 to 1537 ad portuguese merchant who wrote the history of the empire from its earliest day to the closing year of achyuta deva raya's reign nikithin from 1472 to 1474 ad was the russian merchant who visited india during the reign of deva raya 1 question number 49 With reference to Vijayanagara administration, the Nayaka system was related to answer is civil servant. Nayaka system was the system of civil servants. The king was considered the owner of the soil and thus distributed soil to his Nayakas. Each Nayakas was in charge of the district. The Nayaka enjoyed great freedom uh, in his district and there existed not a system of transfer from one district to another. it was a requirement that nayakas maintain a sufficient number of troops for the king and serve them in his war uh, it was compulsory for nayakas to pay tax a fixed annual finance contribution to the imperial exchequer which in accordance to the chronicle of nanis was generally half revenue question number 50 consider the following statement about bahamani kingdom Bahani Bahamani Sultanate was the Persianized Muslim state of the Deccan in South India and one of the major medieval Indian kingdoms Hasan Gangu Bahamani or Alauddin Hasan Bahman Shah was the founder of the Bahamani kingdom in 1347 AD he established the independent Bahamani kingdom his kingdom stretched from the Arabian Sea to the Bay of Bengal included the whole of deccan up to the river krishna uh, with its capital at tungabhadra ahmad wali shah shifted the capital from gulbarga to bidar question number 51 with re- with regard to the society under vijayanagara kingdom consider the following the city of vijayanagara was a luxurious society with splendid building slavery was prevalent and uh, as mentioned by nicolo nicolo conti silk and cotton clothes were mainly used for dresses vijayanagara markets were noted for dealing in spices textile and precious stone 
religious tolerance was shown towards everyone muslim were also employed in the administration women occupied subordinate position in the vijayanagara empire devadasi system was flourishing under vijayanagara kingdom dancing girls were attached to the temples polygamy was prevalent among the royal family sati practice was also encountered by the travelers account question number 52 consider the following statement about kuli kutub shah kuli kutub shah led the foundation of Kutub Shah is of Golconda. Uh, he built the famous Golconda Fort. It is a fortified citadel and an early capital city of Kutub Shah dynasty located in Hyderabad, Telangana, India. Because of the vicinity of diamond mines, especially Kullur mine, Golconda flourished as the trade center for large diamonds known as the Golconda diamonds. Kuli Kuli Kutub Shah was uh, also founded the city of Hyderabad. Question number 53. Consider the following statement about the administrative structure of the Bahamani Sultan. The Bahamani Sultan followed the feudal type of administration. The kingdom was divided into four administrative units called Tharaps or provinces. These provisions were Daulatabad, Bidar, Berar and Gulbarga. Every provinces were under the Tharaptar who was also called a Subedar. Some land, uh, some land was converted into Khalisa land from the jurisdiction of the Tarafdar. Khal Khalisa land was a piece of land which was used to run expenses of king and the royal uh, household. Question number fifty-four. Consider the following statements with regard to the development of the architecture uh, during the reign of Iltutmish. Iltutmish was the call, was called the father of tomb building he had built the sultan Ga, garhi tomb at delhi and completed the construction of kutub minar in delhi that was started by kutubuddin aibak he built house shamshi in delhi and also built the first islamic muslim sultan ghari in delhi to bury his son nasiruddin muhammad in 1234 AD, he plundered Bilsa and Ujjain where he destroyed the Mahakala Deva Temple at Ujjain. Firoz Shah Tughlaq dis, uh, the Puri Jagannath Temple and Jualamukhi Temple at Nagarko. Question number 55. Who among the following Sultan were associated with Kutub Minar? Answer is <coughs> Kutub Udin Aibak, Iltumish, Firoz Shah Tughlaq. The minaret is named after Kutub Uddin Aibak or Kutub Uddin Bakhtiar Khaki, a Sufi saint. Its ground story was built over the ruins of Lal Knot, the citadel of Dilika. It de its design is thought to have been bust by the minaret of Jam, a western Afghanistan. Kutub Uddin, uh, Kutub Uddin Aibak founder of Delhi Sultanate started construction of Kutub Minar first story in 1292. In 1220, uh, Aibak successor and son-in-law Sam Shuddin Iltumish completed the further three stories. The Minar's topmost story was damaged by lightning in 1369 and was rebuilt by Firoz Shah Tughlaq who added another story. In 1505, an earthquake um, damaged Kutub Minar. It was repaired by Sikandar Lodi. Sher Shah Suri also added an entrance to this tower while he was ruling and Humayun uh, while uh, in exile. In 1803, the major earthquake caused serious damage. Major Robert Smith of the British Indian Army renovated the tower in 1828 and installed a pillar cop copula over the fifth story. Thus, creating a sixth. Uh, the copula was taken down in 1848 under, re under instruction from the Hardinge, the Governor General of India. It was reinstalled at ground level of the Kutu of uh, to the east of Kutub Minar, where it remains. A it is known as Smith's Folly. Question number 56. Consider the following statement. He was known as Lal Baksh, he patronized the great scholar Falk Udin and Falk Udin and 
Hassan Nizami. He led the foundation of uh, Arhen Dinka Jom Jompar Jompra at Ajmer. Uh, who, who is he in the above given statement? Answer is Kutu within Ibik. Question number fifty-seven. Arrange the following Shahid Sultan chronologically. Kirs Khan captured Delhi in twenty-eight May fourteen fourteen, thereby establishing the Shahid dynasty. Kirs Khan <coughs> was succeeded by his son Shahid Mubarak Shah after his death on twenty May fourteen twenty-one. Uh, after the death of Mubarak Shah, his nephew Muhammad Shah ascended the throne and styled himself as Sultan Muhammad Shah. Just before his death, he called his son Shahid Alauddin Shah from ba Babdun and nominated his successor. Question number 58. Consider the following statement. Uh, regarding the religious policy followed by Sikandar Lodi. Sikandar Lodi was staunch, uh, staunch Sunni and Muslim fanatic. He lacked religious tolerance and lived uh, Zazia and pilgrim tax on Hindus, did all what he could do to prove the supremacy of Islam. Question number 59. Consider the following statement. The Lodi dynasty under the Delhi Sultanate was the first Afghan Pashtun uh, dynasty in India who ruled from uh, 1451 uh, AD to 1526. This dynasty replaced the Shahid dynasty and it, it, is, uh, it was an important to reform in administration strengthening the army, <coughs> getting up the missionary of land revenue administration expansion and improvement of the cultivation and welfare of the people. It was the last dynasty of the Delhi Sultanate and was founded by Bahulul ba Khan Lodi. Question 60. Jauhar, the Hindu tradition practiced by Rajput Uman took place during the reign of which Delhi Sultanate? Answer is Alauddin Khilji. Amir Kusro gives the first graphic description of Jauhar of Rajput Uman after the victory of Alauddin Khilji over the Rajput state of Ramthambur. In 1301, a fearful ceremony named Jawahar took place under after three months of close chase by Alauddin Khilji. Jawahar is a Hindu ritual of mass self penance of women in ancient times. Question number 61. Music was banned in the court of which Delhi Sultanate? Answer is Giyazuddin Tughlaq. Uh, various taxes were levied under the Sultanate administration. Which among these was the tax <coughs> on land revenue paid by Muslims only? Answer is Ushr. Ushr was the land tax charged on the landed, land held by <coughs> Muslims and watered by natural means. Usually it was one tenth of the produce. These lands were known as Ushir. Question number 63. Consider the following statements about slave dynasty. Mamluk dynasty was also called the slave dynasty. Mamluk dynasty literally means owned and it refers to powerful military caste called Mamluks which originated in the 9th century CE in the Islamic empire of the Abbasid Caliph. Mamluk uh, dynasty was established in Delhi by Kutubuddin Aybak. Dynasty lasted from 1206 to 1290. It was the first of the De dynasty to rule as the Delhi Sultanate. Di uh, dynasties were succeeded by the Khiljis dynasty, the second dynasty of the Delhi Sultanate. Question number 64. Consider the following statement about Shahid dynasty. Mubarak Shah from 1421 to 1434 AD is first Sultan ruler to appoint Hindu nobles to the court of Delhi. There were two Hindu Amirs in his reign. Muhammad Shah con conferred Babul Lodi with the title Kanhe Khana to, uh, for help uh, in defeating the ruler of Malwa. Question number 65. Consider the following statement about the first battle of Panipat. The first battle of Panipat was fought, with, uh, fought um, 
ఫోర్ట్ ఫోర్సెస్ బై ఫోర్సెస్ ఆఫ్ బాబుర్ అండ్ ఇబ్రాహీం లోధి ద బ్యాటిల్ వాస్ ఫోర్ట్ ఆన్ ఏప్రిల్ ట్వంటీ ఫస్ట్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ట్వంటీ సిక్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ బ్యాటిల్ ఆఫ్ పాండిఫత్ రిజల్ట్ ఇన్ ద డెత్ ఆఫ్ ఇబ్రాహీం లోధి అండ్ ఆల్సో ద ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ ద లోధి డైనాస్టీ అండ్ ఢిల్లీ సుల్తానేట్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ఆల్సో విత్ ద ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ ద సుల్తానేట్ ద మొఘల్ రూల్ బి క్యాన్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ఇబ్రాహీం లోధి వాస్ ద ఫస్ట్ అండ్ ద ఓన్లీ ఢిల్లీ సుల్తాన్ టు బి కియర్డ్ ఇన్ ద బ్యాటిల్ ఫీల్డ్ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ సిక్స్టీ సిక్స్ కన్సిడర్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ రిగార్డింగ్ ద అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ ఆఫ్ సికందర్ లోధి సికందర్ లోధి వాజ్ ద డైరింగ్ ఆఫీసర్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ అన్ ఆసమ్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేటర్ ద రికార్డ్ ఆఫ్ డిఫరెంట్ ఆఫీసర్స్ వేర్ కంప్లీట్లీ చెక్డ్ అండ్ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ థెప్ వేర్ సీరియస్లీ పనిష్డ్ ద అప్రొఫీషియంట్ అర్ అగ్రిమెంట్ ఆఫ్ సీక్రెట్ యాక్టివిటీస్ was kept uh, was kept up to keep a strict watch over the governors nobles and different uncivilized components of the state like balban he generally maintained the dignity of his office and did not mix so openly with the individuals he never allotted any high post to the men of low birth for the progress of exchange different news roads uh, were built and each efforts was made to keep them free from cheats and burglars sikandar lodi organized and controlled the entire system of his kingdom with the proper uh, arrangement and administration question number 67 consider the following bhakti sayings in 1524 ad babur won against ibrahim lodi he captured delhi and founded the greatest dynasty in north india the mughal empire period of religious leaders war, war as follows Guru Nanak 1469 to 1539 Daud Dayal 1544 to 1603 Kyagaraja 1776 to 1846 and Babur took over Lodi dynasty in 1226 AD Consider the following bhakti saints Dadu Dayal Guru Nanak Kyagaraja who among them were preaching when Lodi dynasty fell and Babar overtook. Answer is two only. Answer that is Guru Nanak. Question number 68. Uh, the term Sondhar in the Delhi Sultanate referred to loan given to the peasants. Muhammad bin Tughlaq was the first sultan to, ad- to advance loans, loans known as Sondhar to peasants for digging wells and extent cultivation. Question number 69. Which of the following statements given below about Mughals uh, Mughal rule in India. There was abundance of food grain. The state encouraged those crops that brought uh, in more revenue. Most religious produced uh, two crops in a year. Peasant communities were heterogeneous group on the basis of caste and the oilier caste like distinction. <coughs> Question number 70. Which one among the following depicts the correct meaning of the terms Jinns I Kamil concerning crops of Mughal India? Answer is cash crops. Historians often come across the term Jinns I Kamil in their source. Its literary meaning stands for perfect crop. The Mughal state also encouraged the farmers to grow such crops as they bought them more in revenue in comparison with other crops. Example, cotton, sugarcane, etc. <coughs> that is the meaning of the term jinns i kamil related to the cash crops question number 71 verses ascribed by the poet saint kabir have been compiled in which one of the following tradition the verses ascribed by the kabir have been compiled in three distinct but overlapping tradition the kabir ba- bijak is preserved by the kabir panth the path of sect of kabir in varnasi and elsewhere in uttar pradesh the kabir granthavali is associated with du duda pant in rajasthan and many of his compassions were formed in the adi granth sahib consider uh, the following consider the revenue system under shivaji administration chauth and sardeshmukh were the two major taxes of the marathas question number 74 what is the role of mahanayaka chacharya in vijayanagara administration the vijayanagara empire was divided into different administrative units called 
mandalams nadu sathals and finally the into gramas the vijayanagara rulers did not interfere in local administration and hence local bodies had complete autonomy gouda the village headman looked after the administration of the village which was the basic unit of administration maha nayaka charya was an officer and the contact point between the villages and the central administration question number 74 consider the following statement about the ikhtadari system of the delhi sultanate ikhtadari was the unique type of land distribution and administrative system evolved during the sultanate of irtamish under this system the entire empire was very unevenly divided into several large and small tracts of land called the ikhtas the these plots of the land were assigned to the various nobles and officers and soldiers for the purpose of easy and flawless administration and revenue collection the ikhtas were transferable uh, that is the the holders of the ikhtas or ikhtadars were transferred from one region to the other where uh, every 3 to 4 years muhammad of ghaur in 1206 ad the able king was the first to introduce the ikhtas system in india but it was iltumish who gave it an institutional form the ikhtadari system witnessed numerous changes during the sultanate period uh, initially ikhta was the revenue yielding piece of land which was assigned in lieu of salary however during the feroz shah tughlaq's reign in the year 1351 ad it became hereditary question number 75 Consider the following statement: Alauddin Alam Shah, from 1445 to 1457 A.D., was the last ruler of the Shahid dynasty. He voluntarily abdicated the throne of Delhi Sultanate in favor of Bahlul Khan Lodi in April 19, 1451, and left for Bahadur, where he died chanting names of the god Tariq A. Mukhbari Shahi of by Yah Yahya Shri. Shri Hindi states that Khazir Khan claimed to be the descendant of the Prophet of Islam. Question number seventy-six. Consider the following statement with respect to the Babar. Babar was the fifth direct descendant of Timur, hence he belonged to the Timurid dynasty. In fact, great Mongols preferred to call them Tim Timurids uh, rather than Mughals. so stay um, okay. after defeating ibrahim lodi in the battle of panipat and rana sanga in the battle of kanwa he crushed medini rai of chanderi in malwa in the battle of chandri tuzuk ai babari is an autobiography of ziaruddin mohammad babar uh, is the founder of uh, mogal empire in india babar wrote it in the turkish language Mughal imperial officer Abdur Rahim Khan the son of Bayram Khan translated it into Persian Question number 77 consider the following statement with respect to Humayun the Humayun lost his empire to the Sher Shah Suri after the battle of Kannauj he managed to recover it within his own few lifetime Sher Shah was succeeded by Islam Shah but he also died at the young age This in turn triggered a civil war among Afghan nobles. It provided an opportunity to Humayun to recover his empire in India. Here, in two in two holy conquest uh, battles of uh, in fifteen fifty five, he defeated the Afghans and recovered Delhi and Agra. Humayun Nama biography of Humayun was written by Gulbadan Gheba uh, Begum, who was a Mughal princess and the youngest daughter of Emperor Babur. Uh, the founder of the mogal empire humayun nama gives an account of life uh, life of emperor humayun the half brother of the princess gulbadan begum question number 78 consider the following statement with respect to the reforms in for ex uh, sur empire sher shah insisted that uh, ev- every directly recruited soldier had his descriptive role chera recorded and his horse branded with the imperial sign so that the horse of the inferior quality may not be substituted sher shah seem have uh, to have borrowed the system known as the dhag system from the military reforms of alauddin khilji sher shah understood the importance of justice a big step in the 
dispensation of justice was however taken by the Sher Shah's son and was successor of Islam Shah. Uh, successor Islam Shah. Uh, he codified the Islamic rule thus doing away with the necessity of depending on a special set of people who could interpret the Islamic law. Sur Empire was almost synonymous with the Afghan identity like the early rulers of the Delhi Sultanate who had their nobility made up entirely of Turks. The Sur Empire nobility was almost entirely Afghan. Uh, Sher Shah undertook many secular reforms in trade, commerce and communication, land revenue, military and administration. But he did not take any few liberal forms. Example, Zia continued to be collected from the Hindus and his nobility was entirely Afghan. <coughs> Question number 79. Consider the following statement with respect to Mansabdari system. Mansabdari system evolved during Akbar. The key feature of the Mansabdari system was that every uh, Mughal official, civilian, military and simple nobles was given a rank which decided his status and salary. Mansabdari system combined the administration, military and nobility into the single system of patron-client relationship between Bacha and Mansabdars. It had no basis in the Ikta system of Delhi Sultanate. The only similarities between these two systems where the both Iktadar and Mansabdars had to maintain a fixed number of soldiers to be provided for imperial services and both were transferable. Under this system, every Mansabdar is ranked, assigned a rank. The lowest rank was 10 and the highest was 5000 of the nobles. Princes of the blood received Highest Mansab. Towards the end of Akbar's reign, highest rank was raised from 5000 to 7000. Mansabdari system uh, developed gradually under Akbar. In the beginning, there was only one rank, but from the 40th year, that is from 9, 1595 to 96, the ranks were divided into two Zats and Savar. The Zat means personal. It, it fixed the personal status of the person and also salary due to him. The Savar rank indicate the number of ca uh, cavalry men. A person was required to maintain if the person had same Z and Savar rank. He was to be placed in the first category of that rank. If he maintained half, of, uh, half or more then it is second category uh, of the rank otherwise it is the third category of the rank. Question number 80 consider the following statement with respect to Mughal provincial administration. A key feature of Mughal administration was the uniformity of provincial administration and check the balances between different department of officials. According to the Mughal provinces, its responsibility of maintaining law and order and assessment and collection of land revenue was given into different officers. The first was called Subedar and the second was the provincial divan who reported directly to the central divan that is wazir below the provinces were the sarkar in the sarkar the fazudar was in charge of law and order and the alam guzar was in charge of land revenue assessment and collection the doctrine of sulkul refers to which one which of the following answer Akbar's theory of kingship. Akbar's religious policy was a reflection of his view of, of how a sovereign should behave towards his subject. This view wa were an amalgam of triumvirate Persian and Indian invention, idea, Indian ideas of sovereignty. According to the Abdul Fazal, the biographer of the Akbarit office, a true ruler was a very responsible one which depended on divine grace hence no one could stand between the god and the true ruler a true ruler was distinguished by a paternal love for his for all his subjects regardless of their religion race caste etc it was also the duty of the ruler to maintain equilibrium in the society and by not allowing people 
of one rank or profession to interfere in the uh, duties and obligations of another above all he was not opposed supposed to allow the dust of sectarian state to raise all these together constitute what had been called the policy of sul khul the peace to all question number 82 consider the following statement with respect to the ibrahim adil shah 2 um ibrahim adil shah 2 was the successor of adil ali adil shah to the throne of bijapur state he ascended the throne at the age of 9 uh, he was deeply interested in music and composed a book called kitab ai nawras in which songs were set to various musical notes or ragas he dedicated this book to goddess saraswati the goddess of music he also built a new capital now sarpur Ma- mazar nam was issued by akbar according to it if there was a disagreement between theologians on a certain issue he had to uh, he had the right to choose among the different options mazar nama was assigned by the leading theologian of the time and it has been wrongly called the doctrine of infallibility question number 83 consider the following statement under jahangir and shah jahan the bulk of nobles already assisted of as consisted of those who had been born in india simultaneously the proportion of afghans the indian muslims hindus in the nobility continued to raise a new section among the hindus were entered the nobility during the period of where the marathas jahangir was the first monarch who realized who realized that marathas were the hub of affairs in the deccan and tried to win them over to their side the policy was continued by shah jahan among the maratha sardars were served shah jahan was shah shah ji father of shivaji though he soon defected aurangzeb also gave service to many marathas while hindu formed roughly 24% of the nobility under shah jahan uh, they accounted for about 33% of the nobles during the second half of aurangzeb reign of the hindu nobles the maratha formed more than half during the aurangzeb reign question 84 consider the following statements with regard to the firoz shah tughlaq the policies of mohammed bin tughlaq had uh, ang- angered nobility and theologians alike his successor firoz tried to win over theologians so he patronized a large number of theologians without changing the essential characters of the state he he made some uh, superficial cha- changes where, which were uh, to their liking he tried to ban practices which the orthodox theologians considered un islamic example he prosecuted pro- he persecuted those muslim sect that were considered heretical by the theologians it was during his time that ziyad became a separate tax earlier it was a part of the land revenue called kar- karads thus firoz adopted a narrow religious policy uh, he was the first ruler who took steps to have hindu religious work translated from sanskrit to persian he wanted to have a better understanding to hindu ideas and practices during his expedition he brought large number of sanskrit works back to be translated many books on the medicine music and math- mathematics were also translated during his reign question number 85 consider the following statement about zia ziauddin barani ziauddin barani from 1285 to 1357 was a theologian of the tughlaq period he was closely associated with the royal court for much of his life he composed two works tariq e firoz shahi and fatwa ai zahandari tariq e firoz shahi covers the period from the reign of balban till the first year of the firoz shah tughlaq uh, the this book is the good source uh, to understand important events during this period example market control policy agrarian reforms by alauddin khilji but his problem was the bar- barani attached in religious motive in 
angels to vary every major steps of the sultan he claimed that agrarian reforms were undertaken by alauddin to punish the hindus he also blamed hindus for the failure of token currency experiment barani uh, being an orthodox element was much critical of the liberal re, liberalism of muhammad bin tughlaq and he was ugly undoingly harsh in assessing the reign of muhammad question number 86 consider the following statement with respect to chungiz khan on the ruins of the seljuk empire arose two entire um, khwarizmi empire and good gujrid empire in central asia delhi sultanate was an offshoot of the gujrid uh, empire when khwarizmi empire defeated the gujrids it seemed that its next target would be delhi sultanate for the boundary of khwarizmi empire had reached the indus river but before they could happen uh, this could happen khwarizmi empire was destroyed by the mighty mongol chief chungiz khan the mongol threat war to india appeared in 1221 ce after the defeat of khwarizmi ruler the crown prince jalaluddin sought refuge in india giving him refuge would be meant to inviting the heir of chungiz khan who was loitering near the Indu- indus river so ultimish politely refused the asylum request of jalaluddin in order to ap- appease chungiz khan it is difficult to say that would have happened if chungiz khan had decided to invade india question number 87 consider the following statement respect to shahnama shahnama was known as shahnamhe in persian epic poem written by firdoshi it took him roughly 30 years to finish this work shahnamhe literally meaning the book of kings firdoshi was the court laureate of or the court of muhammad of ghazni shahnama tells the mythical and historical past of the kings and empires of the great persian era muhammad of ghazni not only acted as the defender of islam from the central asia tribesmen under the ghazi spirit his religion region is also known as persian renaissance a high watermark in the uh, iranian renaissance was reached by firdoshi shahnama although persian was conquered by arabs uh, we who brought islam to persia the proud people of persia never accepted the dominance of arab arabic language and culture local persian dynasties and persianized turks of central asia both encouraged the persian literature and language question number 88 consider following statement with respect to marine trade during the early medieval period up to this period china had become very important for the global mar- maritime trade the chinese imported uh, item from india southeast asia west asia africa except for spices from india and southeast asia ivory from africa glassware from west asia and many other items chinese goods went to this market as well generally ships from africa and west asia did not uh, go uh, beyond malabar in south asia and chinese ships did not go beyond southeast asia thus uh, both india and the southeast asia were important staging center of, tra- of for trade between india and the west asia africa indian traders from tamil country and kalinga played an important role in this trade among the among the along with persians much of the chinese trades was carried out in the indian ships and the teak wood Uh, found in the malabar bengal and burma provided raw material that formed the basis for the strong ship building tradition in fact weather condition also formed the uh, direct transportation from africa west asia to china the ships would have to wait for a long time in ports in bit- in between for the federal winds which blew from the west to the east of uh, before monsoon and from east to west every monsoon thus the indian and the south east asian ports were preferred by the merchants for the purpose thus all the above statements are uh, question number 18 consider the following statement regarding akbar nama 
Akbar ordered one of his close friend and courtier Abdul Fazal to write his write a history of his reign. Abdul Fazal wrote a three volume history of Akbar's reign titled Akbar Nama. The first volume dealt with Akbar and sister, and the second volume recorded the <coughs> events of Akbar's reign. And third volume in Ain A Akbar deals with the Akbar's administration. Provides a rich details about the tradition and the culture of the people living in India. The most interesting aspect about the Ain A Akbar is its richest statistical details about things as diverse as crops, yields, prices, wages, and revenue. Question number ninety. Consider the following statement regarding the Jhuts of eighth to fourteenth centuries. The subcontinent held immense wealth and possibilities for people to carve for a uh, crave for fortune. One group of people who became important in these periods were the Rajputs, uh, a name derived from Rajaputra, a son of the ruler. Between the eighth and fourteenth century, the term was applied more generously to the group of uh, warriors who claimed Kshatriya caste status. The term included not just rulers and chieftains, but also soldiers and commanders who served in the army. Of different monarchs all over the subcontinent, a chivalric code of conduct, extreme valor, and a great sense of loyalty were the qualities attributed to Rajputs uh, by their poet and the bards. Question number nineteen. Consider the following statement: Delhi first became the capital of kingdom under the Tomar Rajputs, who were defeated in the middle of the twelfth century by the Chauhans. Uh, of Ajmer, it was under the Tomars and Chauhans that Delhi became an important commercial center. Many rich giant merchants lived in the city and constructed several temples. Coins minted here, called Delhi Wal, had a wide circulation. Question number ninety-two. Consider the following statement regarding Qat ul Islam Mosque. Qat ul Islam Mosque and Minaret was built during the last decade of the twelfth century. This was the Congregational mosque of the first city built by the Delhi sultans, described in the chronicles as the Delhi I Kuhan, that is the old city. The mosque was enlarged by Iltumish and Alauddin Khilji. The minar was built by the two sultans, Kutub Kutubuddin Aibak and Iltumish. Question number ninety-three. Consider the following statement about Shah Jahan, Mughal campaign. Campaign continued in the Deccan under Shah Jahan. The Afghan noble Khan Jahan Lodi rebelled and was defeated. Campaign was launched against Ahmednagar. The Bundels were defeated and Orch seized. In the northwest, the campaign <coughs> to seize Balk from the Uzbek was unsuccessful and Khandara was lost to the Shafavids. In 1632, Hamad Nagar was finally annexed, and Bijapur forces sued for the peace. In 1657 to 1658, there was a conflict or succession among Shah Jahan's son. <coughs> Question number 94. Consider the following statement regarding Shishodhya Rajput. The Shishodhya Rajputs of Mewar refused to accept Mughal authority for a long time. Once defeated, however, they were honorably treated with the uh, treated by the Mughals, given their land. Uh, as assignment, the careful balance between defeating but not humiliating their opponents enabled the Mughals to extend their influence over many kings and chieftains. But it was difficult to keep this balance all the time. Question number ninety-five: Tarbrate or core build in the medieval time refers to a style of horizontal and vertical beam of roofs, doors, and windows. Between the seventh and tenth century, architects started adding more rooms and doors windows to building roofs and doors windows were still made by placing a horizontal beam across the two vertical column the style architecture architecture called tarbate or corbelled between the 8th and 13th centuries the tar tarbate style was used in the construction of temples mosques tombs and and uh, buildings uh, attached To the large stepped wells. Question number ninety six. Political structure, political culture of medieval period displayed military ma military might 
by attacking and looting the places of worship consider the following statement sultan muhammad of ghazni was a contemporary of rajendra 1 during his campaign in the subcontinent he attacked the temples of a uh, defeated kings and looted their wealth and idols sultan muhammad was not a very important ruler at ruler at that time but by destroying temples especially the one at the somnath he tried to win credit as the great heroes of islam in the political culture of in the middle of the middle ages most the ruler displayed their political might and military success by attacking and looting the place of the worship of defeated rulers question number 97 consider the following statement regarding the architectural development during mughal period there were several important architectural innovations during akbar's reign for in, for inspiration akbar's architecture turned to the tombs of his central asian ancestors taimur the central towering dome and tall gateway uh, became important aspect of mughal architecture first visibly in humayun's tomb the tomb was placed in the center of the huge formal char bag and built a tradition known as eight paradise of hast bahisht the central hall surrounded by eight rooms the building was constructed with red stone in, in edge with white marble question number 19 it was during shah jahan's reign that the different elements of mogal architecture was fused together a grand harmonious synthesis considered uh, the following consider the following statement shah jahan rain witness the huge amount of construction activity especially at in agra and delhi the ceremonial halls of public and private audience were carefully planned placed within the large courtyard these courts were also described as chilhil sultan her 40 pillared hall shah jahan's audience halls were especially constructed to resemble a mosque the pedestal on which his throne was placed was frequently described as the kibla the direction faced by muslims at prayer since everybody faced that direction uh, when court was in session the idea of the king as a representative of god on earth was suggested by this architectural figure question number 19 consider the 99 consider the following statement regarding the ramanuja charya ramanuja born in tamil nadu in the 11th century was deeply influenced by the alvars according to him the best means of attaining salvation was through intense devotion to vishnu vishnu in his grace helped the devotee to attain the bliss, uh, bliss of union with him he propounded the doctrine of vish vishishta dvaita or qualified oneness uh, in that the soul evenly when united with the supreme god remain distinct ramanuja's doctrine greatly inspired a new strand of bhakti which developed in the north india sub, sub subsequent question number 100 consider the following statement regarding the rishi order of sufism in kashmir the rishi order of sufism flourished in the 15th and 16th centuries this order was established by sheik nuruddin wali also known as nund rishi and had a deep impact on the life of the people in the kashmir a number of shrine dedicated to rishi saint can be found in many parts of the kashmir